Hey guys, welcome back to the Berry Mountain Homestead. So yesterday you saw us getting the wood chips from our land and putting them in our chicken coop. We're gonna talk about our process of using the wood chips from our land and what we're using them for in the coop. And then also kind of like how we do the chicken litter and just basically all things chicken and how the coop works for us. And then the last thing that we have to do today is we are going to try try our best to get some of the tree stumps that are kind of in our way up on our land like when we're trying to maneuver to get out wood and stuff they're just in the way so we're going to try to get those out of there and see how that goes if you guys are new to our channel we want to welcome you and be sure to subscribe if you like homesteading content garden content chicken content and just all things like that first and foremost of the chickens is their water. You guys have probably seen it. We use a little three gallon thing from Tractor Supply that continuously waters them. I was having problems keeping it clean, even though it's sealed off. It kept getting green and you know, kind of algae-like. When this heat, little apple cider vinegar does the trick, like a tablespoon per gallon. So I put like three tablespoons in and that's it. And it just stays perfect for a week until it runs out. I already did that a little bit ago. I didn't actually get to get that on camera, but I at least explained it to you. As you can see behind me, the chicken coop. Put the wood chips down in the run, which they are not in that often anyways, but the run was getting really muddy and dirty and poopy. So we started putting the wood chips that we got from our land from chipping the trees to try to keep it dry and clean. And we can just add more as we go. As it gets dirty again, we add a little bit more on top. It's kind of like a deep litter method. And then when it gets too high, we just pull it out and we'll throw it in a compost pile. All right, we're inside the chicken coop. This is the actual coop now, not just the run. Behind me is their perch. You can see that. I did not clean this yet today, but I'm going to right now. Uh, so we basically do the same thing in here with their coop as we do with their run, the deep litter method. We bug. We start with a little bit litter on the ground it gets dirty every day. Every morning I come out and add a sprinkling on top just to cover it up and it soaks up all the moisture. We use pine shavings, by the way. And we just continuously build it up so that there's layers of poop and wood shavings, poop and wood shavings. And then once it gets too high, we take it out, throw it in a compost pile, and that's all just good fertilizer. All right, all nice and clean in there. So now we have this all full and ready to go down to the garden and this we are going to put a nice clean layer on the bottom to kind of just start fresh there you go tony and meanwhile since this video is starting off all about the chickens i'm going to go find the chickens because well, what's a chicken video without some actual chickens in it i found one Hi! Hello, pretty girl. <sighs> Say hello! Say so, yeah, now where all your other girlfriends are? Oh, here comes another one. Because I'm cootie cooing ya. Say hi! Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'll put you down. I have a treat for you. So our carrots are starting to get these like flower seed pockets. I'm thinking we'll just pop them off because they're clearly not ready. Like these two we pulled out and they're not ready. So since they're not ready for us to eat, we're gonna give them to sweet Annabelle. You want him? Oh my goodness. Wow, two and one. Oh, you dropped the one. Look at you. Sweet girl. Yeah. Oh, is that good? Nom. <laughs> Is that good, Aunt Belle? Aww. Up on our land now with Little Red and our chainsaw. And this is what we're talking about. So there's just so many stumps 
throughout the trail and if we are going to get the ATV up here we can do it now but it's just more challenging plus um we have tony's dad gave us that truck that we mentioned that beater truck and we kind of want that to come up through here so we need to get rid of these stumps and we need to get rid of them regardless for the future anyway for our pasture and stuff well we're gonna try we've never tried this before we're gonna try to dig out around it to get a little bit deeper so that the chainsaw blade isn't hitting the dirt and rocks and then cut it off below grade and then fill it back in so there should be no stump visible. If that works, we'll see. Tools that are needed. Yeah, what's the plan of attack here? Shovel. Okay. And pickaxe. And then of course, the husky, the chainsaw. So glad we bought it. Definitely a great purchase. Well, I mean, it'll be able to be driven over, but it's not going to be flat? gone. Well, no, but it'll be flat. Kind of. <laughs> we couldn't get it as low as we wanted just because this is such rocky ground and... But it doesn't matter. Point is that we can drive over it with a truck now and we didn't ruin the chainsaw blade. Yes, which was the goal, so... Everything worked out. Now I just gotta fill it in a little bit around where we dug and... Success! Conquered one tree stump out of... A thousand. How many more? <laughs> How's that look? Looks good. We have a couple more to do. Yeah. But... It's almost gone. You can't even tell. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah. We have a couple more that we want to get done here today, but we're not going to film it. We just wanted to show us doing it for the first time. And so with that, we're probably going to wrap this day up. Um, as I said, Tony already put in a full day of work, <laughs> and so we are beat. We're sweaty. It's time to head in, make some dinner. But we will be sure to catch you guys in our next video. Be sure to subscribe. Like we said, if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Yep. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. See ya.